good morning friends um, today we will be discussing about the history of computer so the, these are the topics that i will be discussing just go through it once yeah so my first topic is what is a computer see a computer is an electronic device that accepts raw data as input processes that raw data and gives us information so that is basically what is a computer all about see the um, computer word came from the word called as compute which means calculate so earlier the computers were basically calculators the first um, calculator or computer which whatever you want to say was known as abacus see an abacus is a simple counting frame that was used by many great ancient civilization we found this in china and even in harappa and mohenjo daro abacus was used there abacus basically is an electronic device mechanical device sorry not an electronic device abacus is a mechanical device used to assist a person in performing mathematical calculation it consists of frames that you can see here with rows and wires or grooves along with beads and slide if you look at the uh, image you can see those rods beads all these things are there this abacus was basically used for calculation then the next is napier's bone see napier's bone was developed by john napier it was a manually operated calculating device it could find products and quotients of numbers the next is pascaline see pascaline was developed by blaise pascal he was a french mathematician this is also known as the first calculator it is known as pascal's adding machine it consists of a rectangular box with eight movable parts now let me discuss a little bit about charles babbage charles babbage is also known as the father of computer his two great invention was differential engine and analytical engine see charles babbage was the first person who developed mechanical computer see this is the differential engine it was the first mechanical computer then after differential engine he developed another um, computer known as analytical engine this was a programmable mechanical calculator designed by charles babbage and the best part is like modern computers it has it had an input device it also had an output device and a memory to it to store all the data these are some of the some of the other computers like mark 1 which was developed by howard elkins in 1941 it was the first fully automatic electro mechanical computer then we had this eniac e n i a c electronic numerical integrator and computer it was it was developed by john mochley and j presfer ictor they also developed edvac electronic discrete variable computing uh, automatic computer it was based on the stored program architecture we call it stored program machine then they developed another machine which is an upgrade of edvac known as univac u n i v a c 
universal automatic computer. This was the first general purpose electronic digital computer which was used for business purpose. Now, um, types of modern computers. See. see, modern computers can be divided into four parts. The first one is, four, not four parts, sorry, five parts. First one is the personal computer. Then, workstation, mini computer, mainframe computer and supercomputer. This is a personal computer. It is small in size. A single person can use it and it is based on microprocessor it is quite inexpensive like um, it's not that costly and basically it is designed for only one individual user see a computer that you have at home is a personal computer laptop or a pda or we call it palm top also the second one is a workstation see it is much more powerful than a PC it is basically it basically has a powerful microprocessor and a high quality monitor it is basically used by people who wants to design like graphic designers and all or video edi editing for video editing purposes people is use this kind of machines they are known as workstation then this one is known as the mini computer a mini computer is a computer which has all the features of a large size computer but its size is smaller than those it is a multi-user computer capable of handling large amount of users see basically a mini computer is a powerful computer you can say which can handle lot of data and it can be it can be used by many people then comes the mainframe computer see this is a very powerful computer and multiple users multiple users can use that computer at the same time it can be hundreds of people sitting together can use this one single computer so that is why it is known as mainframe computer google they have their mainframe computer then companies like yahoo they have their own mainframe computers then the last one we can say is a supercomputer see so these are the most powerful computer ever meant um, made by human beings the most powerful computers built by any human being supercomputers are very fast and it can perform millions of operations per second traditionally supercomputers have been used for scientific and engineering applications uh, scientists engineers they use these kind of computers basically to do um, lots of calculations in very small time in a very small time like in one or two seconds they will do thousands of works thank you